I don't. Hey, did I scare you there? Ron and Maureen Tucker here from Tuckingham Palace Beehive, north of St. Thomas, Ontario, on a perfect summer morning, out checking the hive. And I just wanted to have a quick word with all of our fans, all four or five of you, <laughs> about the C word, corn. Before I start, let me say I love corn. I love corn. I love corn farmers. You love corn farmers. Who doesn't love corn farmers? What we don't like is pesticides. Uh, and you've been hearing all kinds of stuff in the news lately. Millions of Ontario and Canada's bees have been dying. People believe because of the neonicotinoid pesticides that are in the corn seeds and grow up into the corn plant. Um, I don't want to get all political, and I'm not a botanist. It seems to be true, and we worry about it. It only takes 3.68 parts per billion uh, of these neonic pesticides to kill a bee. And this stuff has a three-year half-life, as far as they know. Um, same chemicals that have been banned in the European Union. And I believe Ontario corn farmers don't even have the choice to order clean seeds without pesticides in them and on them. Which, that, I didn't know that until we started beekeeping. It doesn't sound right to me. No, it actually kind of scares <laughs> the hell out of me. So, um, but like I say, I'm, I'm not an expert of this, but the beekeepers I know, uh, they're scared too. So why I'm doing this video today, um, I want to urge everybody to support the Ontario Beekeepers Association. They started an online petition to petition Premier Kathleen Wynne to um, help ban neonicotinoid pesticides. Come on, Kathleen. Come on, Kathleen. <laughs> Get your shit together. Oh. Well, keep going. We don't have a lot of batteries. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, get going with that. So, what I want you to do is Google Save Ontario's Bees. That'll give you a link to the petition. You could also go to the Ontario Beekeepers Association website. Um, you could go to change.org. Or you could friend me on Facebook, Tucker Queen Bee, in St. Thomas, Ontario, and I can help you from there. I hate to get all political, but I just think... Um, I think if people get mad enough and they realize how serious this is, they'll do something. And uh, a scary thought to end on here, if we didn't have bees, guess how many months it would take to run out of fresh food in North America? Nine. Nine months. Do you like fresh food? I love fresh food. So I like it. I love fresh food. And I love corn. And I, I want healthy corn and healthy plants for everybody. And Mostly, I really want people to have the ability years from now to have a beehive like us. It's brought us so much pleasure, and I, I want future generations to be able to enjoy this. Safe food, happy hives, you know? Uh, I want to finally close here by inviting one of my favorite people in Canada to come and see Tuckingham Palace. Rick Mercer, are you watching? <laughs> I'm not very good at ranting, but you are, Rick. Why don't you come to St. Thomas? Ron and I will show you around. We'll show you the beehive. We'll introduce you to some flower farmers and some corn farmers. And we'll get Canada a buzz with trying to save the bees. And I'll make you dinner, Rick. I'll make great Thai food. So, yeah, two things. Rick, please come. And two, go to Google, save Ontario's bees, find the petition, sign it, send it to your friends. Bees do so much for us. Take a sec, do it. Um, let's tell these pesticide companies to buzz off. Buzz off, company. <laughs> buzz off, that's right. Thanks for watching. Sign the petition. See you later. Boo! Boo!